Hello everyone and welcome to my first ever moving vlog! So as you can see, I've already moved, but I'm going to take you all back in time with me through the process of getting to this empty shelf room. This is now my office area. My desk is over here. You will see a lot more of that in this video, but I realized as we were moving, we moved so fast that I literally never took an intro for this video and it's quickly getting dark outside. So I am just going to get you guys up to speed. So I'm pretty sure in my summerween vlog, I told you guys that my air conditioning or in my August TBR maybe that my air conditioning had been out out already for a couple weeks. Well, our air conditioning is currently still out. No one has been there to fix it, and little did we know they switched rental property companies, which may have to do with some of the miscommunication going on at our old place. Doesn't matter. It's unacceptable in the South Carolina heat. So our lease at our old place is currently up September 30th, but because of how desperate and hot we were to get out of our previous place, we started looking at other rental houses earlier, which thank goodness we did because this place here is the second house we saw. We were talking to the leasing agent and she was like, you guys need to pull the trigger on it now. It's a brand new house, a brand new build. And after the weekend, it's literally not gonna be there. Like this company, these houses they're building is going so fast. Literally, after seeing it, like a couple hours, we applied for it, we got approved the next day, and we moved, basically. We moved like all our necessities over here. We're in a completely different side of town. So far I'm loving, it's been great. It's so much quieter here. I'll have to show you guys like my view out my window. It's like this beautiful field. I am just so incredibly thankful to be here. We were renting a house in the 40s. So going from that to like a brand new house, I'm sure you can imagine like the air quality is different. I usually don't share my faith on my channel, but my husband, has been very blessed to have this new job opportunity that has been dropped in his lap where he gets paid significantly much more, which has been so amazing. He also loves it, which is another plus, but I would not be here if it was not for God like working in our lives and just placing every single step in front of us so clearly along this whole way through this whole process it happened way faster than we thought it was going to be literally eight weeks faster than we thought it was going to be we just have so much more space here because i think it's about double the square footage the dogs have loved running around and it's just so much more comfortable and breathable and yeah i cannot wait to give you guys a little empty tour in this video but i think that's all i wanted to say welcome to the vlog um if i look tired it's because i've already been through most of the moving process. I just needed to do an intro for you guys. I'm going to take you guys now back in time to when I took all of these shelves apart. I was kind of emotional about it. It was kind of like a weird time. Anyways, it was also very hot because there's no air conditioning. So I'm just going to go ahead and let the b-roll roll. I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -mm. Everyone always keep falling in love again What's wrong with them? I don't understand Maybe it will pass by Someone save me for a pass out I'm too lonely to be done I'm a drink at this page
wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -mm. So just ignore this situation going on here. Everything is gone off the shelves. It's so sad. I do need to take the lights off. I'm very out of breath because it's hot in here. But I'm gonna take the lights off and then I will go ahead right now and show you where I'm keeping the books until I eventually have the time to transport the books and get boxes to the new place. Staying hydrated with some Gatorade and I am gonna run out and try to find some dinner somewhere, something refreshing, something healthy. I don't really know what yet. Let me show you the massive amount of books I have and you don't really realize how many you have until they're all sitting in one spot. Okay, so everything is sitting like behind our dining room table and there is a lot of books. They're like double stacked and I have no clue how many I actually own, but there is a ton here. And then also these are the ones that I'm going to be unhauling and I eventually need to take these with me because I actually want to sell them. And then we still have this corner over here with more books and my TBR cart. So next time you see me, we will probably be at the new place. I'm not planning to vlog moving everything out of here because it's such a small place and we have very little time. The next thing you guys see will probably be like a somewhat empty house tour before everything's settled in. You can be looking forward to that and then hopefully I will be reading something at that point. I think that's pretty much the update for now. Like I said, I'm going to get these lights off but it's going to take a long time because I don't want them to get tangled and I'm debating if I want to put these back on the shelves eventually or just not because I actually have sticky tack to keep them taut and so they're not sagging and it's been a huge annoying issue so I'm gonna take these off and yeah I will update you guys probably when we're in the new place we are here there's stuff everywhere but I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a quick tour don't mind Quinn she's barking somewhere back there when you first walk in, there's just a little bathroom, nothing crazy to see. Baron's scared, so he's hiding back there. Just a small little bathroom, nothing crazy. And then you come back out, and then this door is just a two-door garage. And then here is just a giant closet that goes really far back underneath the stairs, so that will come in handy for sure. Don't mind our stuff, but this is going to be the big area in the living room where we're gonna have a sectional here the tv is gonna be here and then yeah we have like an end table and all that good stuff and then there's this wide open space we're gonna have a long kitchen table here we are gonna have to buy a new one with some chairs and then you turn around and we have this nice island we're also gonna get rid of these chairs they're old and we just don't like them they're all scratched up and dinged up we literally got them from facebook marketplace but anyways, it's a great kitchen. Kitchen island, double door fridge, pantries there, tons of door, closet, cabinet space. And then the puppers would like to say hi. They have their little nook over here. And then we literally go straight back into the patio where we just gave the dogs a bath. But there's a giant field over there, which is actually super, super cool. And obviously have lots of plans to put like a patio couch and like a grill and all that good stuff. Um, and it's kind of nice that our neighbors already have a fence right here. But yeah, obviously great lighting. This place is like massive. It's double the square footage than we used to have. So I will take you up the stairs. Do do do. So up here, we have such a cute landing where I want to do like a reading nook possibly, like a chair, a couch, something like that. But then this is where the book room is going to be. I'm so excited! So over here, we're going to have my desk area. And then this has such great lighting, you guys. I am so stoked for filming in here. Sorry if I'm out of breath. I am so tired, so sweaty. But I'm thinking some corner shelves are gonna have to be here because I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit three shelves along one wall and I kind of want to get a fourth one because why not? Also what I thought would be kind of cool is there's this giant like walk-in closet but it also 
has a window over here and I feel like you can make a little nook of some sort maybe but yeah we will see what i end up doing with that closet i have no idea what i want to do with it yet but i definitely do not own that much stuff for an office to put in there and then you come back out here there's the stairs this is going to be my husband's office room so it's basically the same thing it just has one window but the closet is actually even bigger and then we come back out here that's just a linen closet and here we just have another bathroom nothing crazy toilet shower big giant vanity which is super awesome and then in here is just the laundry room so nothing crazy in there but great to have some cabinets and then through here is just the master so nice giant vaulted ceiling we're gonna put the bed here we have a walk-in closet over here and then that's just the master bathroom with a giant tub and i've never had a tub before that's that big so lots of bath reading will be done here for sure i think someone's a little bit scared still are you scared hey what you doing oh there he goes do you love it? Look, there's a little ledge for you to sit on. What you doing? You like it? He's going exploring. He's getting brave. You like the book room? Soon to be book room. He's actually a lot more adventurous than I thought he was going to be gonna just set you guys down for a minute but yeah i'm hot and sweaty so there is your empty house tour man do i look tired it's a tuesday i took work off i am going to have to go into work tomorrow but this is my new book room and i cannot believe i have this room all to myself to do whatever i want to still can't decide if i want to make the closet like a cute little book nook or do something in there the ideas are endless i'm definitely going to be pinteresting it up i hope you guys enjoyed it it's double the square footage than we used to have so it's going to be so nice just to have room to grow <laughs> and actually like add furniture and have space to still walk around because our other place was like a thousand square footage and it was really hard to not bump into each other with three animals so they are currently trying to get used to the place they got their baths and all that good stuff we still have some more stuff to move tomorrow but luckily we got all the big stuff tonight i will probably have more of like a reading update i have been listening to an audiobook but not as much recently so i will catch you guys up on my reading but daisy darker also comes later this week and I'm so excited for that. So I'm probably gonna add this to this vlog because that's my most anticipated book of the year. So in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed this empty house tour and I will see you when I have like another organizing update or another type of house update. Well now I can't find the cat. I come in here and he's trying to act like nothing is happening. You're just gonna hide in that place. Oh, you're trying to get in my bag. Okay, okay. <laughs> Why are you digging? Don't dig. Well, hello, my friends. Today is now Saturday. We've been officially living here since Tuesday, and it's actually about to rain. So hold on, let me change the lighting. The lighting in this room is stunning. I cannot be more grateful for three giant windows, but that's not what we're here about. I am here to give you guys a moving progress update get a little bit of a tiny like reading nook starting back here my shelves probably will not be here for another couple weeks because we do have the rest of august to finish moving in and i do have my desk in here now so i can edit and possibly film a couple things on a blank wall but yeah it has been a slow process we went back to the old house and grabbed the kitchen stuff i got some groceries yesterday so it feels so good to not be eating out anymore we can finally cook here but yeah just a lot of tiny day-to-day -day things that we are wrapping up that we're getting used to so there hasn't been much of an update and i feel like i'm not really gonna include a lot more moving stuff because everything's just been happening 
so fast. I keep forgetting to pull out my camera and a lot of it isn't really all that interesting, but I do have a couple exciting things to share with you. One, I may or may not have already started buying some decor for the place, so these are my first two items that I bought. Yes, they were $5 each. They were in the Target dollar section. I have not unwrapped this, so I don't know how big it is, but it's just this Sherpa throw blanket. It's this perfect orange color for fall. It's not too bright. It's not too dark. It's like the perfect orange color. Literally $5. I can put it on that chair and everything will just immediately look more fall, which I'm very excited about. And then my favorite thing is this teal hello fall pillow it's velvet and then it's just got like this twisted kind of embroidered cream color on the front these are two of my favorite colors and together they just look so cute literally just the two of these things on my chair are gonna make me so happy i really want to put them out now but i'm trying to wait until the first of september to make things look fall i am gonna decorate my shelves for fall i'm very excited to have these new things already for my book reading nook and look what else made it here my book of the month when i heard Daisy Darker was possibly going to be a book choice as an early release, I was like, yes, thank you. I need to read that immediately. So, of course that's what I got. Oh, this is so pretty. I love these colors. This is my most anticipated book of the entire year. I literally do not care how much moving I have to do. I am putting it all on hold to read this. Okay, let's just read the first sentence together. Ooh, so there's even like a floor plan in this. First sentence is, I was born with a broken heart. Already love it. I just literally, oh my gosh. I'm like scared, like I don't wanna start it, but I do wanna start it. I think I'm gonna put some unpacking on hold today, make some dinner, start this. Before I get into this, I will go ahead and show you kind of like what the reading room is looking like or kind of what I'm planning to do with it. I can't remember what I shot for my empty house tour because like I said, things have been fast, things have been crazy, and I don't remember what I've showed you guys. So I'm just gonna show you guys now. Okay, so this is not a very wide angle lens, but when you first come in kind of behind the door, this is like my desk area and my thoughts for this, obviously there's a lot of room back here. But I really want like a giant plant. I think would just be so much fun. Maybe like a fiddle leaf or I don't know, like a fern maybe, or maybe even hang something from down here. I really don't know what I want to do yet, but overall, I really want to replace this chair. It is definitely comfort over cuteness. I would love to get a white keyboard, a white mouse, just something a little bit brighter, if that makes sense. And then right behind it, you have where my shelves are gonna go. So I'm definitely gonna have two here, maybe one here in like a corner. I'm not really sure how that's gonna work. I actually tried to get a hold of a fourth shelf and they are no longer selling them at Target, at least not right now, because I was gonna have two and two and then maybe have like a reading chair here or there or something like that, but I really don't know yet. I may be able to fit all three on this wall. I really don't know, but that's kind of the plan and I love, like I said, blues and oranges together. So I would love to subtly like incorporate those colors into the room, maybe get like a giant area rug. But yeah, I have my chair here, brought my plants so I can water them and they don't die. And then these are the books that I kind of snagged that I want to read for the month of August. But yeah, I don't really have another update otherwise right now, other than I'm going to enjoy this rainstorm we're about to have, cook some dinner, and start reading Daisy Darkers. Oh, in case I didn't mention, I absolutely love having these giant windows in here. The view is just stunning. And also this closet is pretty dang massive. So aside from like my tripods and my filming equipment, I'm planning to just put like extra books I haul up here, but I thought it'd be cool to like stack them with the spines out along here, possibly. Or since there is an actual window 
inside this closet, which is crazy. Um, I thought maybe I could do like a beanbag chair or create like some other type of cozy reading nook. That's just like storage for now, my camera gear. But yeah, there's like endless possibilities of what we could possibly do with that little closet because I know I'm not gonna take up the whole closet with just books and storage. updated you guys on anything last sorry if this light is weird we don't have proper lighting set up still it's raining in like 8 p.m so hopefully you can see me okay but i realized that i never updated you on the very beginning of daisy darker and my thoughts and i was like i think i am like three-fourths of the way through at this point and that's not because i've been flying through it because I've had so much going on with getting used to a longer work commute, our animals are adjusting, and there's just been a lot going on. So I'm very sad that I have not been able to update you on my thoughts yet. But I was like, I need to update the vlog before I completely finish this because I really want to see how I'm like feeling now in comparison to how I feel in the end. This is such a good transitional fall book. I feel like the month of August I felt super slumpy and stumped on what I want to read because it's not quite fall yet. There's a couple summer books I wanted to finish up but I don't think I'm in the mood for those anymore and I just don't know what to read. Also, hi Baron. I did not know at all. I have read this synopsis to this book maybe one other time and I did not know it was supposed to be reminiscent of and then there were none. So yeah, that was a pretty big shocker for me and honestly made me not like it as much in the beginning. But we've got some more background on these characters and even though they're unlikable, you kind of get connected with them with the flashbacks, but I was very honestly kind of put off at the beginning. I was under the impression this was just supposed to be about three sisters and the bond they have. But no, we have like a full cast of characters. We have Nana, who's like this crazy quirky character that I love so incredibly much. She reads off her will to these people and I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but I was rolling. She is so sassy, she tells the truth. I wish we got more of her in this book, but what I do like about this book is obviously the coastal kind of rainy stormy vibes. You have the lights that go out and you just have all these characters that don't like each other. They are a big family who have an interesting dynamic and basically you find out more about these characters through these home via 
VHS tapes that are being left around the house. But we get some very quotable like life quote one-liners that I totally was not expecting in this book. It's one of those books that's just like, wow, that's a life quote that I just want to write in a journal. Books will teach you anything you want to know, and they tend to be more honest than people, which true. Like I said, it's taken me about half the book to actually get invested. This does not feel like Alice Feeney because the pace is so much slower than her other books I've read, but I don't think right now this is going to be a favorite of hers. I think it's going to be hard to top Rock, Paper, Scissors, and Sometimes I Lie because I really love those, but I know and have confidence in her that she's definitely still going to shock me and surprise me nonetheless and she's doing a really great job of getting me confused with who I think like the murderer is. Also since I've been having a much longer commute to work I've been picking up a lot more audiobooks lately which has been kind of fun. The most recent one I read is I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy. This is probably the best memoir biography I think I've ever read. I just Wow. <laughs> she was so incredibly sheltered all through her teenage years and I was homeschooled. So for me to say that, yeah, her life and the way her mom emotionally, physically, mentally abused her is just absolutely baffling. I teared up a couple times and the only reason I know her is from iCarly. I feel like that's pretty much the only reason people know her. I cannot believe like you see people on TV and have no clue that this other stuff is going on in their life. It's just so sad. <laughs> like this is going to be a top favorite of the year, like top five for sure. I just, I want to watch iCarly again. I want to watch all the interviews. Like I just feel for her. I have this deep connection and love for her because of it and I hope you guys pick this one up too. I've also been reading a little manga here and there and I don't know, it's just been a really weird reading month for me. But I think I'm going to definitely try to finish this up and let you guys know what I think when I'm done. Yeah, we are probably getting close to nearing the end of this vlog but I will show you guys kind of like a house update probably after this weekend when we have all our stuff here. I think I showed it to you last when it was basically completely empty. I'm just so excited for fall, so excited for all the good things to come. I will follow up with you guys later when we are officially out of our old place and officially completely moved over here. Yeah, you're not gonna have too much fun when there's books on there. Now that someone is done being the center of attention, welcome to my shelves. My shelves are finally here. They have nothing on them. I am going to wrap up this vlog here because the moving process has been going in different stages and I feel like I just probably look tired throughout this entire vlog but that's just life moving is tiring this video has been like over the span of like probably a couple weeks at this point i am just going to end the video here even though we still have a lot to do we basically just have like 
boxes to pack up. I don't have all my books here yet. Actually, most of them aren't here yet. But I also wanted to tell you that I finally finished this. I meant to update you a little bit more along the way, but obviously things got a little busy, which is totally okay. I was so scared. I was not gonna like this. But in the end, I actually ended up being pleasantly surprised. I did catch on one big thing or a thought had run through my head at some point, but just know this is the perfect transitional fall book. I don't know if I already mentioned that, but the vibes were so good and there's still enough of a solid ending to really make this worth it. I personally thought it was a little bit slow, but a lot of people have thought it is fast paced and I feel like I would give this a solid four. It's definitely not my favorite of hers, but it's not my least favorite either. A lot of people have said they guessed the plot twist, but there's a couple and maybe it's just been way too long since I've read and then there were none. I didn't figure it out. I figured out little parts, but I also felt like this was very reminiscent of Sarah Penborough. Like honestly, I kind of thought I was reading one of her books. It has very unlikable characters, so I didn't get as connected as I wanted to. It wrapped up nicely. I'm so glad I read this. I'm so glad I read it right away, even though it took me like a week and a half or two weeks to actually get through. I'm so happy I read this because now I just want to read all the fall books. Before I end this video, I am going to show you guys like a quick progress update. We were up until like 11.30 on a Saturday night like upholstery cleaning our couch just so it smelled nice and clean and fresh and it does swallow up the whole living room. We have a big sectional couch and I love it but honestly I didn't expect it to take up the entire living room. I'll show you guys the master bathroom because I've already been spending a lot of time in that tub reading. I don't know if anyone is interested in like seeing a bathroom but been really great and really relaxing and one of the first things I want to buy is like one of those bamboo trays that like goes across the bath. I'm just so excited to also decorate for fall. I just need to get all of my books over here because this is gonna be such a big project and I thought I was gonna look forward to it but honestly I'm just ready to start filming again. Anyways I will give you guys a quick update so let's go downstairs real quick take you guys down the stairs and ta-da we finally have our big couch it finally feels like a cozy little living room there's definitely not room for a chair or anything here like i had planned so we're probably just gonna do a little bit of like a fiddle leaf tree or plant or something and there's great window light when it's actually light outside. This is our very dinky kitchen table and I used to have like coffee and microwave and stuff on this but I kind of want to get rid of it because we don't need it anymore. So we are going to sell this, get a long like eight seat table and that's also the cat post that is broken but we're going to get like a long eight seater table, a rug, obviously the works. It's just a work in progress and then I finally have stuff in the kitchen doing lots of dishes lots of boxes sitting around still got like a box over here and yeah like i said we're still not completely done but we spent so much time cleaning this couch and it's looking pretty good it smells very fresh and excited to get new pillows and replace the tv stand and just all that good fun stuff so like I said, I don't know why you guys would want to see a bathroom, but <laughs> this is our master bathroom. Like I said, my favorite part, the tub. I've already been sitting in here reading lots of books. So in case you wanted to see that, there's a nice little window with a great view and yeah, two sinks. We've never had two sinks, which is great in case you didn't know well everyone that is it for now obviously we are not completely settled we still have more things to get i may include like more segments of organizing i'll have a bookshelf organization and unhaul all of that kind of good stuff and good content coming to you guys soon i am just so excited to finally start filming in a new space and it's just gonna be so much fun. We have a lot of work to do, but like I said, there will be a lot of content. If you guys like organizing and cleaning, we're gonna be doing a lot of that in the next like couple weeks. Until then, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching and supporting my channel. I love you so much. Thank you for sticking with me through this huge life transitional phase of my life, and I will see you guys in my next video.